Chloe, are you okay? Sorry, I, I just keep thinking about shooting Frank in the leg. Please don't. You saved us. Frank is lucky. We have to keep moving forward. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Oh, yes. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe. Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Max, roger that. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Oops, bad code. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data, and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. 
I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Chloe is so damn fearless. Where does that come from? Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? Watch us. Max, get over here before I torch this place. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. I found the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, no, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Chloe would make a great detective, too. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. This tractor has paid its dues. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. Must be. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Ah, the good old days. This 
So many haystacks, so few needles. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. <sighs> the rope leads up to that platform. Must climb. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop, and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. <clears throat> that looks sturdy enough to stand on. Here's the other end of the rope. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. Driver strikes again. <clears throat> Damn, this is heavy. to say how weird this is he just did who built this kind of place a press god of course this bunker is so surreal this is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. Oh yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. Open sesame. and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Now what the hell is this? More survivalist supplies. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Water supplies. 
like in David's garage bunker. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Son of a bitch. What's with the Prescott's and creepy art? Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god. Rachel, Kate, all of these files. This place actually feels evil. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel has passed out and she has something in her mouth. This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. So who's using this fancy tripod? Must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Needles. Gross. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. Somebody likes their whiskey. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Orchard.
Slow down. Wait for me. I know exactly where I'm going. Look, this is it. This is it. Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop. Look. Please, no. Oh. Oh. That smell. Rachel. Oh. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too Jesus, moved. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking... Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. 
Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. Uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Why does Nathan creep you out? He should. I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. But have you ever looked at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me no like. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. I still haven't seen Nathan. I promise to let you know. Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. 
There's Courtney drinking alone without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. I just School days. Kick Nick. Luke, I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? No big deal. Really? You look pretty fucking intense. Is Nathan bothering you? Oh wait, I did see Nathan today. Nursing a busted face. I had dreams that somebody finally kicked his ass. Well, Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Warren gave him an epic beatdown. Yes, give it up for Brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. That'll be hard to do when the Prescotts own the town and the Vortex Club. I call it the Vortex Cult. Look at this crap. Dress code? VIP section? Elitist bullshit. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. And for helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Bigfoot on otter action. Good Alyssa shake that booty. Sorry, your name isn't on the list. Yes. Trust me, dude. You're not missing anything. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list, okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. What are you doing in here? If I get sick now... Justin's just a little buzzed. Yo, maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore tex club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is going to go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. 
Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. The tide is turning. Chloe must be around. Good night, sweet prince. Please hurl and flush already. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. You're not the only one who has to get Gross. How did this even get here? Don't wrap it up. We're coming in, sister. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Push this out of the way and officially crash the VIP section. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck is going on? Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, who stopped the music, okay? is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Oh, that makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. So Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on a loop. I feel so, so Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge porn or something. I love yes. that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. I'm glad Dana ended up with Trevor. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. How's the end of the world going? Great! This has been the worst fucking week of my life, so I needed to act like a carefree student tonight. For Kate. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich <laughs> and rich? And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Warn her? But Here's we'll the see. queen bee. Victoria, your picture is so happy with Yeah, that would be wicked. Uh, did you hear something? I'm trying not to. Oh, I guess. The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. 
I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party. Everybody is wasted. What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. You're the one who got suspended, Max. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. So I'm not the only problem child here. This is bigger than a problem child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choice. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography, we're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were abaddon -esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the Vortex Club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? Oh, um, no reason. I, I, I'm glad we finally had a talk. I don't blame you for not caring. I totally know I'm a mean bitch. Too much residue for my other school clips. We are supposed to be adults, right? That's what they tell us. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Nathan Prescott? Why do you want to know that? Uh, uh, Principal Wells wanted to see us Monday. It's no big deal. I hope he doesn't give you any shit. Actually, I haven't seen Nathan tonight. I swear. Should I have warned Victoria about Nathan? I mean, she might be evil, but... Logan, can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that game for me. Oh, uh, no. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? None of your business. Oh, Max is dropping serious attitude on the dance floor. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen Nathan. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Don't you ever want to see you, Max? You're so cute. We never really talk. Talk about what? The next Bigfoot's game. We could go out to the field. I can show you some moves. Give you a touchdown. Logan, don't make me hurt. Damn. That was it's way more exciting than the dance. Over. Catch you later, Max. Just let me enjoy this party without you around. Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. That, that oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. Oh good, Chloe's here. She obviously didn't find Nathan. Taylor really shows her Vortex Club spirit. 
Oh my god. Max, seriously? What are you doing here? Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? If I did, it's none of your business. This is a VIP area, so you should get back to the beach. Eat shit, dude. Enjoy the end of the world. Okay, like, maybe I will. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Well, let's bail. Nathan can't hide in me. So, you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Oh. Are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh -huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I put... I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist, sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Oh. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Oh, Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Hey, 
Mitchell, I will get your revenge. I swear. If you're yelling, please, Max, please hurry. Oh, God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no.
la puissance. Gros, c'est la puissance, c'est la puissance. Ah, la puissance. Gros, c'est la puissance, c'est la puissance. Ah, la puissance. Gros, c'est la puissance, c'est la puissance. Ah, la puissance. Gros, c'est la puissance.